I'm. <laughs> Easy. We gotta redo that. We gotta. Yep. Dang. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Nightcap, the bi-weekly web show where friends unwind with the topics that make us hot. My name is Richard Pucci and I am a little bit tired. And I have the amazing Joy. I'm a real content creator. Nickens. Hello, Miss Joy. Hola, como estas? Uh, bien, bien. I was going to say, now, is that, um, do you have one of those fancy hoodies where, like, you can, like, wear the headphones and, like, there's enough space? Or is it kind of um, tight? Well, with this one, shout, shout, <laughs> shout out to my baby for buying this hoodie for me. Um, this one seems like I can. Okay. I don't no, want to hurt myself. Sure. Yeah. I was going <sighs> to, you know what? There are ones that are even bigger. Yeah, this is okay. Like it, it doesn't feel weird. It's. I was gonna say that's a medium. That's a, that's a medium. Yeah. There are ones that are like oversized. Like um, they they make sweatshirts that are like made for gamers. Like the way that sweatshirts could be made for like athletes. Oh yeah, we because there's the way that we the headsets. Like I'm very basic when it comes to the headsets, so. Um, I never really wore headsets until probably 20, well, shoot. I know when I was, I, when I bought my PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. I did buy the Sony wireless headset and that was thick, the, the uncharted version. Mm. And then I bought, uh, in 2019, I bought the turtle, turtle beach headset, which I still have, yep. but I'm trying to upgrade to the HyperX, uh, HyperX Cloud Striker S. Stop it! Foolishness, but I'm I'm partnered with HyperX, so I'm kind of yeah. like I'm trying to get that shit. But yeah, um, they messing around here talking about some oh the 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 not partnered the partner codes are, are corrupted the partner codes aren't working right now so you know we gotta figure out how to do that i'm like i'm about to just outright buy the shit like <laughs> i want it but i was gonna say you know. i mean even if because if you buy it if you buy it you, they could always reimburse you for it which i'm i mean with the with the way their customer service is right now like it's i have them i have to email them twice before they actually get back to me like in a row, like I have to message them and then message them again, yeah. and then they get back to me, and it's like at night, and I'm like, okay, this isn't really the the type of you know response time I was hoping for. If I'm going to be partnered with you, yeah. you should at least be in contact with your partners and figure out what's going on. But then they just got acquired by HP, so I don't know what their setup is looking up looking like right now. Yeah, they might be um, trying to figure out. Who's doing what? Mm -hmm. So I want to give them patience. And I'm I'm gonna give them that time. But yeah, this like these headsets. This is my editing headset. Um, headphones. My Audio Technicas that uh, you know require me to hear everything and edit and all that other stuff. But uh, no, for the most part, I, I'm stepping into this gaming headset society thing. And I've, I the one thing I do know is I don't want to play video games on stream with a wired headset anymore because like. I will literally move and it yoinks me. It's like, Yeet! and I'm just like, ah! so I got to make sure to, I want to get wireless now. At uh, first I was like, no. And now I'm like, yes. Oh, I see. It's, it's weird. Um, with the exception of the, with the exception of the Apple AirPods, mm -hmm. the exception of me with AirPods, I'm pro wired. Wire. Yeah, I'm so pro wire, and I think part of the reason is not needing, not needing to charge it. Like I also prefer using a mm. mouse that has a wire. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. I the mean, the response time, like not having to worry about like, is it charged? Like, I'm I'm always like, 
I'm always like, oh shoot. Like even if it's like one of those fancy like um uh, mice where you only need to charge it like once every six months. You know the one time that you need it is the one time that it's not charged. Oh yeah. No, it's I'm it's the wireless option for me is very specific. When it comes to listening to music, I gotta have wired because I've okay. I've I've been through what what it's like when you have wired um wireless. The AirPods for me they die fast. I skip a lot of songs, and when I if I am on a phone call and I'm listening to music, the AirPods die faster. Okay. Even with the other headphones I use for my iPod, which are great, but I don't think they're really like loud enough for me. The wireless heads. Ear AirPods and stuff. Yeah. So I would much rather listen to everything wired okay. and over the ear if I'm going to listen to like music. Mm -hmm. For the head, for the gaming, I want a headset and I wasn't going to do wireless because I didn't want to charge the shit every five minutes because that's what I was dealing with with the PlayStation ones where you, it's like you're playing the game and then it's like, do, 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 do. And then you're like, damn, I got to charge the headset right now. I'm playing the game for like three hours and now it's like, I got to charge this too. Why can't I just charge it with the court? So, I mean, I'm only doing why I only, only want to do wireless because that I, I have a wired headset to the PC. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I got to take it off and move and stuff, but I, I kind of want to just put that on a charger too. Like I'd rather just do that. Cause it's only going to be in that one area. Yeah. But uh, yeah, other than that, though, I'm I'm totally pro wire. I, I'm fuck Apple for taking the wires away, the cords away, the chargers away. Like Apple be on some other shit. So. Yeah, I'm pro wire for everything, though. I'm like, uh, wires, wires, too many wires. Um. Um, Josephine right now is hiding um, in her house, Ooh. and her house is a chair that has a blanket over it, and she just like climbs inside, and she just hides in there, and it then becomes her house. Okay. And I'm going to show you her house. Yay! It's her, it's her fort. She's in there? Oh, I see her chest. I see her her little like white patch there. Okay. Good night, Joe Bean. That's how you know cats are demons. She like specifically goes into the dark place. She's like, I just want to be in here. She's like, okay, that's my house, and it's the it's a child like a fort. It's a fort. Sure it is. I'm like, okay. I don't know about you. I'm like, I am. I don't know what's going on right now with the world. I'm just like, mm, I'm tired as all get up. I threw out so much stuff at work. Mm. Just like stuff that I was like, I'm never going to use this. I'm like, I'm literally throwing this out. I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. Garbage, 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 garbage. Yeah, declutter. Declutter like, it all. No. I'm like, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use it. I just want it. I'm like a big, like, get it out person like if i'm not going to mm. use it i don't want it it's just taking up space yeah no i'm like i'm anti taking i'm like stop with the space like donations great i'll take them throwing them right out to the people boom 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 like i don't want to keep the donations like like i don't want to like save them i just as quickly as we get them i want to give them out to people heck yeah but why not yeah there's no need to hoard all that stuff if you're not using it I was gonna say because like the one one thing could say like okay well like you should you could like hoard it for like an entire year right that way you know that you have enough stuff but like even if I don't have enough stuff like I'll we'll figure it out like yeah because if we're causing like in order for us to save it for a year we're causing like instead of feasting we're causing our own famine right mm. right like because holding like on to something because we're holding on to it instead of using it so like we like like okay I'd rather. I'd rather have there be like a real famine than like cause a famine because that's because then there's no use because you literally caused it yourself. Oh, yeah. See? So. And I wish more Americans understood that concept <laughs> versus just, I need it. What are you yep. using it for? I need it. 
yeah i'm just like i don't know in which case because in which case that's just the way i'm choosing to do things i understand why people would choose the other way mm. by the way uh by the way nightcap fam i am a little bit on the tire side so i'm doing my side i'm doing my side thing i've become so conversational with nightcap and mm. it's terror like this is we used to be a reputable little web show i don't know what happened I mean, we still are. We, we're growing. We're still I'm, growing. We are still growing, but like, I just think it's so funny because, like, I'm like, I don't have my. I'm like, I don't have the light. I like, I don't have the light up. I don't have. This is beautiful. We're doing great. We're doing great, sweaty. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm actually am not in my regular station right now. Ooh. I moved because Bibi is next to me playing uh, the survivalist yeah. on the PC. So I moved my laptop next to her over. So I'm the only thing that I'm like, oh no, is whenever this computer, hopefully this computer doesn't die. I'm on 52%. Yeah. <laughs> it's not plugged in. Okay. So I'm kind of like, it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh no. It's at what percent? 52? 52. 52. No, oh yeah, you're absolutely fine. We got Rodney in the house. Rodney's hey! the head. What's up, Rodney? How you doing? We got a Rodney in the house. Uh, he doesn't sound like that. I don't think he sounds like that. He's got a sexy ass deep voice. The one time we heard it, I was like, I was like, oh, because in that picture, Rodney, I don't imagine that voice with that picture. Yeah. So when I heard that voice, I was like, damn. He's like, hey, how you doing? I was like, oh, both, excuse both. me. I was gonna say both of us legitimately were like, <laughs> and like not in a bad way. It's like you know, we weren't like, Arr, Arr. like, can you come run that back, my selector? Like, I was gonna say, I was talking about chocolate rain. Mm -hmm. mm. Yo, Ronnie, and I appreciate, I appreciate Ronnie so much. Like, he he has been an absolute delight. Like this for year, like he has been consistently with us, which is amazing. Cause it's like he ain't gotta be here. He really don't. Like if he's no. just like, I ain't gotta be here, but he he comes and he's like, hey, I'm here. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so I appreciate that so much. Yes, uh, uh, Rodney's been here with the dog and pony show like since episode two, I think. Yeah, like when we were just like, what should we do? All right, let's just. Just do this every every other week. That was back when we used to have themes. Oh my god! Wow. That was back when we used to like when I would try when we would have themes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was back to school night. I think so. <sighs> I don't do that. I can't, especially the like. I'm like, oh my god, it feels so good. I only Ooh. yawned because he yawned. I only yawned because he yawned. I'm not tired. Oh my gosh, Rodney says, look, don't make me blush. Yeah. And then he says uh, that the reason why he comes back is because both of you guys are absolutely awesome people. I don't know how true that is about it's very me, true. but about her, like, yeah. But um, we appreciate it. Um, thank you. And we also have... Uh, we also have a Rick in the house. Howdy, What's guys. Up, Rick? Hey. Yeah, Mr. How Rick doing? Brown. Hello. Um, Hello. So much love here in a, um, yeah. so so much love here in the house. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like, I'm trying to think. What have I been doing per se? Yeah. Uh, um, what you been up to? La 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 la. Nothing. No. Oh, work. Nothing but work. I'm like, I'm like, I'm literally, I'm just like, I don't. This is one of those episodes where I'm like, I don't know what I'm oh my God. doing. Jabba Chan is here. Jabba Chan, what you doing here? I Girl, how you, like... how you find the space? How did you find the space? I always feel like oh. somebody's watching me. Dominic is Do, what is, Dominic. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Rodney, you sly bastard. <laughs> but not fly at all. Okay, I see you. I see you. Rodney dropped 
the nightcap, which is, I'm sorry, I probably should be doing that. I should, I should do that, but then it's like, I don't know. Ah, okay. This dog and pony show is... So if y'all are not <laughs> sick of me from yesterday, you can see me again, but <laughs> this time I'm with a wonderful human being over here. Uh, I'm a okay. wonderful I'm... human being. Uh, I'm okay. Uh... <laughs> You are more than okay. You need to stop. Okay. I'm I'm okay. You know what? I uh, I have an a I'm making a cult. Um I was I was doing a little bit of the cult simulator. I got a new ending for cult simulator. Nice. Okay. Um did I tell you about the moth ending? The moth ending? <laughs> yeah. I created a cult and we were based around moths. Um I got to the end of it and I was like it was an ending. I was like I didn't love it. But it was something. It was something, yeah. I uh, cult simulator, amazing. I know Bibi. Bibi showed me a game by Team Seventeen. It was like how to. What was the name of the game? Like how to be in a cult. Honey, I joined. Honey, I joined a cult. That's what it was. Thank you, my sweet. <laughs> Honey, I joined. A cult. That's a game that you can play on the Switch and other things soon. I don't think it came out yet, but Honey, these cult games. Lots of cult games. Yeah. And what? who is this? Oh, is that Jack Skellington? No, it's just like... This is Halloween. This is just, not my thing. It's, it's like two guys on a moon. Oh, see, by the time the phone gets close, it like goes away. Oh, that's nice. Right. It's just like... The, the moon looks like a, a... The moon looks like he likes that. Yeah, he does. Like jo Job Chan is correct. Aren't we in Joy's cult right now? I do not have a cult. That's YouTube culture is very YouTube culture is very cult-ish. I am not a cult leader, and this is not a cult. This is the fam. We are a family of non-cultists. Most cults <laughs> will call themselves a family. We are not a cult. We because if this was if this was a cult. There'd be some sexual favors going all up in this bitch, but there's no sexual favors happening up in and up in this bitch. So to, to, to no, this is not a sexual cult. Okay, this is a uh, this is a PG rated R but goofy family setting. Yes, yes. <laughs> ain't, ain't no cult up in here. Uh -uh. Don't 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 you do that. They do weird stuff to cult leaders. Oh, they get murdered. I ain't doing that. No, thank you. Uh, we are just, yes, there, there we go. We are a dysfunctional family full of wonderful strangers and people that we've, like, I, everyone that's in this chat, we've never met physically. None of us has never met physically at all, which is amazing because it's like we talk to each other in a way like we know each other like we've seen, like we've met each other before in real life but we've never met at all but i know that whenever we do meet up in real life we'll be like oh hey it's you oh my god but no we are not a cult this is a family except for rick uh, except for rick i've met rick i've known rick i've been I've, I've known him he's again you know he's known me since i was a, a baby a but, baby um, that's the baby that's baby joy Oh, speaking of baby joy, oh my god. Um, <laughs> I went to my parents' house last Friday. No, I'm sorry, last Wednesday. Whoa. Mm -hmm. um, I went to my family's house last Wednesday, and my parents digitalized my third birthday party on DVD. I was a little bitch. Like, I was a brat. <laughs> it was, I was your birthday. A... You were allowed to... At, at least you were allowed to be, like, a little bratty. Yo, I... I can't get out of my head how this is probably why my mom doesn't like me. So <laughs> I had, they had Barney come to, to my cousin's house where the birthday party was. And when Barney left, I was crying. Like I straight up was like, ah! like, why is he leaving? And then my mom tried to like grab me, like, you know, take me by the hand and like bring me back. And then I was like, no, like I smacked her hand away. And I was like, oh, <gasps> Me looking at this as a 30 year old, looking at my three year old self, I'm like, oh my God. Ugh. Yeah. 
Ugh! Like it's <sighs> And then there was something oh when when I was um opening presents and my mom was trying to get me to sit down and I was just trying to like fall out of the seat because I wanted to play with the Sesame Street teacup set. I don't I don't know. I don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> but that was baby joy where i was like nah! and <laughs> you were just being a three-year-old i was yeah i Thank th you. i think that th that caused like oh my gosh that hits me in the feels because i distinctly remember like parts in my life like when i was a child growing up and just mm -hmm. looking back and being so embarrassed about the way I behaved and like, not like, not like, like a real deep, true embarrassed, like, oh just, yeah. and there's like nothing you can do about it and just be like, I'm sorry. Like that was wrong. Did I ever tell you about the time that I got punished from watching TV? No, tell me. And I'll share one with you when you're done. Okay. What, what, what? So, so like, I, I don't know. It was something about, like, me watching TV when I was, like, doing my homework. And so, but, like, my I could, like, watch, like, my mom was inside of, if my mom was inside of a room, the TV would obviously still be on. So mm -hmm. I was just being the biggest brat. I want to say this is, like, sixth grade, seventh grade. I was just being, mm -hmm. like, a little brat about the situation. And, like, so finally my mom was just, like, whatever, just like watch it i don't care like i broke her wow like, to where she was like it's just easier to not deal with you like whatever like fine you want to watch it so bad go watch it fine you're not punished there you go and and like it was one of those things that like at that moment i thought i won and then randomly like that that feeling or that memory will pop up and i'm like that's really shitty mm. you know what i mean like like i'm like in which case she won because now I'm broken now. <laughs> yep. It's the it's the pain that keeps on giving. Yeah. Dang. Oh god. Yeah, I it's like you want to have an attitude but not to the point where you want to break your parents like or parent, parent, parents. Like you don't want to yeah. just be like they're It's it's like that whole thing where you're you're kind of like, all right, if you're mad at me, you're mad at me. But, of course, when they say they're disappointed in you, you're like, what the fuck? Like, nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even if I don't like you, like, no, you're not supposed to be disappointed in me. Like, yeah. it's me. Come on. It, it's it's like that double-edged sword where you're like, you want to, like, annoy them and be like, no, if you're going to punish me, I'm going to make it hard on you. But then when they acknowledge the fact that you've done that, you're like, I went too far. It's yes. like, well, but that was the whole, that was the reason why you did that, though. Like, so, like. This is why we were the, chil we're the children and they're the parents. Yeah. Like, it's just not to say that they're supposed to, you know, they're not right either all the time, but. Yes, Rick. You're never you you're ne you never win against your parents because it's it's ne there's no winning. And I learned that when I was probably like in high school. You can't win the game. There's no you can't win. You just exit. You, <laughs> you quit. You either you either exit what with your life yeah. intact or you exit because your mama brought you in this world and she very well take you out. But uh, I, I learned you just you don't win the game. You're just supposed to leave. <laughs> um. Oh, I was gonna say. Now, did you want to share uh, share a, a little a little baby story about about you with punishments? Cause... Oh yeah, this particular memory, like how you said, when I think about it, I get so embarrassed, and then I I feel sad. But you know that happened so many years ago. Um, I was I believe I was seven. And it was, it wasn't from my parent. So I have this aunt, it's my dad's sister and my family, they've known, obviously they've known each other for umpteenth years. Yeah. They have, as black folks, we all have names for each other. We have nicknames and you just don't understand where it comes from, but you hear everybody else saying the nickname. So they kept saying her nickname and I know her as aunt so-and-so. So yeah. I said the nickname. I was like, yeah, nickname. And then she gave me the blackest look. Like she she was she was over here. She was just like. And I was like, ah, like just. <laughs> and I, I literally 
I was when I said it, I said it over a couch. Like I was just like, you know, like the couch part where you have your arm. So I said it over the couch and then she looked at me and then I sunk and hid under the couch because I was just like on the side being like, oh God, I just said that. And that memory will roll back. And it's just and when it and when that wave Ugh. hits you, you feel it. It's like it just happened. The guilt. And I'm like, oh, why can't I just die? Like right there, just die. And I and I and I think that was what solidified me to always be like, ma'am, sir. Mr. Mrs. I never call anybody by their first name unless you specifically tell me to call yeah. you by your first name. Everybody else is like mom, dad, Mrs. So-and-so, -and -so, so and so's yes. mom, so and so's dad. Like, I don't know your parents' name. I just call you Ricky's mom, Ricky's dad. Like, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I don't know their names. You're lucky yeah. I know the last names. But yeah. <laughs> you know, so I just ever since that moment, I think, was when I was like. Because you've always been, like, since me knowing you, mm -hmm. you politeness has always been a a top-tier thing. Because of that moment where I was just, like, <laughs> so, I can't, you can't talk slick. And, and my aunt, she's the nicest woman. Like, she literally has never beat me, yelled at me, like, nothing to that point. But I saw that demon in her to be like, if you, and I was like, oh! I don't ever want to see that again. So I just, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. How you doing? Mom, dad, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, so scary. I love how we're talking about childhood trauma. Let's, let's Ooh. go. Ooh, spicy. Spicy. <laughs> um, I'm like childhood trauma is it's real. Yeah. It's real. I, um, since I got the shot, I was able to see my, my family. I was able to see oh, little yeah. baby Roo. Oh my god! How are they doing? Roo Lupu. Uh, baby's doing good. Uh, family's doing good. Uh, all of them. All okay. like five or six. Uh, uh, five children. So it's just a lot. A lot of kids. A lot mm. of kids. Um, Your brother's oh got my two gosh, now. My, yeah, my yeah, my brother has two uh, bio kids, and then the the three. Uh, the three love kids. Mm. Yeah. Um, but actually, the the really funny thing that I do want to discuss about my brother's house is the fact that downstairs he has a pantry because mm. the next door neighbor uh, likes to give him stuff that they get from the like uh, <laughs> stuff that they get via um, donations. Okay. <laughs> so down kitchen. So downstairs, uh, my brother legitimately, uh, he's got like shelves and like, I went downstairs and Maria just says to me, she's like, okay, do you want anything? She's like, peanut butter. You want peanut butter? I said, sure, I'll take peanut butter. And she's like, Which she's like, do you want crunchy or do you want smooth? And I was like, oh, I, I'll, I'll take smooth. And she's like, all right, do you want um, organic or do you want regular? And I was like, I'll go with like regular She's like, do you want big jar or small jar? I'm like, I'll take a big jar. And then she's like, okay, next question. Do you want Skippy? Or do you want this blah, blah, blah? I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. She legitimately had different pathways that I could have taken. I think I ended up getting the natural Skippy, which wow. I think is very, yes, that's an expensive one. So that was nice. Um, she had pasta noodles. Um, all sorts of pasta noodles, all sorts of sauces. Um, uh, you know what? I would shop there again. They had reusable bags. <laughs> I would shop there again at Maria's house. It'd be great. Yes. Matt and Maria's house. Perfect. Wow. Job. Uh, it's like ordering online when you were at the house. Yeah. That's it. That it was That's like, amazing. I, I, I took a picture of it. I, I have to post it and it's just like legitimately like just like a little corner and like I went up there and straight up Maria was like oh and we have reusable bags and, like, I, and same thing with cereal oh my gosh I got freaking special K the the red berry one I yeah. just finished eating the red berry one oh my god yeah red berry night like not like like because like when you think good. yeah I was like and then it's it's so funny because then John Ray was like uh, Cupid was like, oh my gosh. Uh, he was like, 
well, shouldn't you, like, shouldn't that go to somebody that, like, needs it? And I was like, we I was do. Like, <laughs> I was like, well, okay, so that's what I was thinking. But also I was thinking, like, well, it ended up here, so, like. Don't look a like, gift horse in the mouth. Shut up. Uh, yeah, like, it ended up here. And then secondly, Maria said that, so she had, like, this, like, she had this box of, like, some sort of pasta. And, she, like, they had it for a bit and it was like getting close to the expiration, but like, she was like, I'm not going to use this. So she like donated it. And mm -hmm. like, like, like within that week, the lady was like, Oh, we got all this stuff for you, Maria and Matt. The freaking box was in there. Yo. Okay. So they're all donating and getting from the same places. So that's kind of like, Look, don't look again. Look, it was meant for you to have the box and for you to eat it, basically. <laughs> so just eat it. <laughs> oh, honey bunches of oats with strawberries. Ooh. Uh, I love those commercials where the people are working the plant. You know, we don't have cable here, so I'm kind of like, I haven't seen a honey bunches of oats commercial in like mad long. But don't you remember, like, you don't remember them? I remember the black lady. The I was going to say lady. it's a black lady. <laughs> the hefty black lady with the with the shower cap on being like, we love our oats. Honey bunches of oats. And, <gasps> I yeah. was going to say the black lady. There's a black lady there, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, TV. my God. It's, oh. Like, it's really, like, honestly, the one thing I, I'm glad I don't really miss TV. But, like, when I went home, my mom had it on the whole time. And I was watching it, but yet she was talking to me the whole time. So I'm kind of yeah. like, I didn't watch TV, but we did that one time to talk about Fatal Attraction, the show. But that 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 was really it in the Wait, news. They turned Fatal Attraction into a television show? Well, this I feel like this is one of the ghettoest, blackiest things I've ever seen on television. I don't know if it was from BET, but there's a show called Fatal Attractions or Fatal Attraction. And it, because anytime it was on, it was just black people <laughs> that did some dumb ass shit. <laughs> and my mom, and my, you know, my, you know, my mom, I'm like, why are you watching this Jackie? Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> and she's just like, they just, they're dumb. And I just want to know why they're dumb. <laughs> And I'm like, mom, what are you, what are you talking? And then we sat and watched the episode where it was the a mother and she had two kids and she had a husband. And then she goes back to her house and everyone's dead. And they're like, well, what happened? And so the 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 wife is distraught. Come to find out, right before she went over to the house, she had her cousin drive with her to her house. But before they drove to the house. The wife got her son's backpack out of the back seat and put it next door to the house she was at prior. So the cousin thought that was weird. Like, why would you, before you go to your house, you take your son's backpack out of the car and you put it on a random porch. Turns out this bitch killed everyone in the house with the gun of her boyfriend that she was sleeping with because her husband was stepping out on her. So then she was stepping out on him. I'm like, what? And then the boyfriend had no idea that his gun was missing, even though she does his laundry. He's like, yeah, you know, my gun was missing from my top drawer, but like, I just, I don't know. I didn't think about it. What? Why did you kill all your, why did you kill the people? Is it TV one? It's black. It's a black, it's a black network. Why did you kill everybody? Well, she, and you know why she did? Because Weeks before, she got a new life insurance policy on everybody, which was like fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, and she cashed out the. She was trying to cash out the, the insurance policy, but then this bitch has previous records of fraud, fraudulent. Stop it! I'm telling you, these people are so fucking I, dumb. But that's, okay, so that's like that. Okay, so I feel dumb. like I feel like if you're gonna go for like a a Okay, if you're going to go for a big fraud, you got to do it once. You got to make it worth it. You know what I mean? Like, like, and when you pair it with all that other stuff, like, you get one shot. Okay, if, if it's the entire family, that doesn't make sense. Okay, She's already it's, on probation, probation. Because I remember, <laughs> I remember the made-for-TV movie uh, mm -hmm. on Lifetime that had Winnie Cooper 
uh, where oh. she was she was this girl and she went with her her boyfriend's family on vacation and they have a history of taking girls their son's girlfriends on vacation and they all fall off cliffs and they have insurance what? policies yes yes what it's like some lifetime movie uh the the girl that played winnie from uh the wonder years uh she was in that movie and like like that's the sort of thing that kind of like makes sense because like it's not like it's just like an act oh it was an accident and I, they just happened to life insurance policy like that makes more sense than like oh no some a random person drove by and shot up like my family of five is you know the what I title mean? is the title of that movie the audacity of the caucasity because that sounds so white <laughs> you take your son's girlfriend you're you're go Wait, out and i gotta get the name of it yeah what's the name of this movie she just accident she couldn't have been a black woman because there's no way any of us of the of the melanin variety would have gone on that camping trip <laughs> hiking trip oh it's so great it's so oh, like, wonderful i totally i gotta i gotta figure out the name of it because that don't make no goddamn sense what the fuck mm -mm. mm -mm. i know better i mean i i'd be watching bibi making sure that our hiking is fine but then also i drove there so but you made sure i should be you fine <laughs> No, it's it's it, we're not we're not hiking like that. But mm -mm, I was always very like if there was any man, specifically man, that was like, hey Joy, we should go hiking. Bitch, what? For what? To do what? I mean, if you want to have sex with me in the woods, we could do that right now. We could do that right here. We don't need to go to the <laughs> woods, to the mountains, to the forest. You know where my body is missing and chopped up and eaten by lions and bears. No. Cause the key, the I've learned this man code of yeah, let's go hike. And I want to do so many things with you. No, you don't. You want to fulfill your sick, nasty, twisted fantasies and have sex with me and chop me up in little pieces and then like find me and then never and then eventually you get so drunk and then you tell people, you tell the police, oh yeah, I saw her last time. And then you you see all the the different droplets of semen everywhere because he was jizzing all over the trees. Like I just. Mm -mm. Nope. I was gonna, and they always, they, there's always some <laughs> semen around. Like, what? Why is there semen on the forest floor? What, who is out here, jizzing on the trees? Like, I, mm -mm. no, thank you. I and we can say all this, and we're not even drunk. None of us are drinking. But <laughs> no, I, I just was like, mm -mm. it would not be adventure sex. It would be adventure murder time. Like it's with a little mix of semen. Like I just no. No, so I, I just knew never to go hiking with a man. Even though any of any of the men I was ever into, hiking would be probably their last priority on the list. But just foresight, I'm not going to go hiking with a man. <laughs> just never. Not by ourselves, for damn sure. It had to be a camping trip with other people in a classroom setting. That's the only time we was going hiking or camping. So... What an interesting, yeah, Jabba, we, we, did, we really did go from childhood trauma to fraud and now sex, murder in the woods. Yeah, what's the name of this movie? I'm still, I'm like legitimately looking for it. I can't It's the audacity it. of the call casting. Wait, so you said it, Whit Whitney, Whitney, Whit Whitney? It's uh, Danica, I think it's Danica McKellar. Oh, she her? Was, yeah. She, uh, Danica McKellar. Yes, she was. She played Winnie Cooper, and like Lifetime movie, I, I, either Lifetime or Hallmark. It had to have been Lifetime, because these things are like. I like her. She has a nice face. I would sometimes confuse her and the girl, uh, Mara Wilson. I would oh, confuse these two. Yeah. Sometimes. They're not that, they don't look that much alike, but when I see the cute little, like, like the apple kind of face, I Yay. would think it's them. Is it called Campfire Kiss? Mm. Ellis, that, that seems more romantic. No, it was like straight up like. This one says, feeling disconnected with her teenage son, a protective mother decides to step outside of her comfort zone and take him, oh no, nah, that doesn't seem like a murder thing. Ooh, now I just have to like look up like 
movie where there's many life in <laughs> life insurance policy because there's Camp Cucamonga. Cliff. Is it justice for Annie? A moment oh, of I, yes. Truth? I yeah, wait a second. I to- that totally sounds girl. It is. What's I'm it called? Sorry. Justice for Annie. Girl, Danica McKellar. Yeah, it's called Justice for Annie. A moment of truth movie. This came out yeah. when we when I was six. This was ninety six. Yes. So y'all, this says a woman, Peggy Lipton, learns her daughter's Danica McKellar. Her daughter's accidental death may be part of an insurance scam involving the young woman's landlady. Mm. Damn. Bitches be killing bitches. That's crazy. The filming took place in Toronto. Um, The plot. Okay. So Carol Mills is the mother who has a troubling relationship with her 19-year-old daughter, Annie. <gasps> Unable... Oh, oh, God. Unable to live with her any longer, Annie moves out and marries her boyfriend, Ken Carmen. Mm-hmm. It soon turns out their marriage is a failure, and she <gasps> decides to move in with another family, mm-hmm. George and Helen Preston. Mm-hmm. Not much later, Carol receives a message informing her that her daughter accidentally died. <gasps> what the fuck? Crush, crushed, she learns at the funeral that Annie had a life insurance policy worth of a hundred thousand dollars with <gasps> Helen as beneficiary. Oh yes, that's she already, did. That's already fucked. That's already yes, a, she did, girl. Yes, she's, she starts to suspect that Annie was actually. She, she starts to suspect, mm-hmm. ma'am, you have my legit fucking daughter on a life insurance policy on your in your name. Starts to suspect my ass. Okay. She starts to suspect that Annie was actually murdered because of that and tries to collect evidence with the help of a detective. And this is real. This is real. This happened. It says the film was based on the case of Deanna Hubbard Wild, who was pushed to her death from a cliff near uh, Monterey, California. Wilde's boyfriend's mother was convicted of her murder in 1992. His father was also charged, but died before the case was brought to trial. Yeah, I'm telling you, the audacity of of the (laughs) capacity. Like, that isn't, that don't make no, I mean, people are so greedy for $100,000 that they just murder people, and then they're just like, oh, they'll be fine. But at least, right, they, they took their chance, right? They were like, as opposed to as opposed to like the lady that was like, she had the fraud, she had the other thing, she was doing the ba ba ba. She grabbed mm. the boyfriend's gun. She mm. shot up mm. however many people. Like that's too. Uh, she had it's seven insurance policy. Like that's as you know what as Rick said. It was too, it's compli- too complicated. complicated. It's too complicated. If anything, like, it kind of reminds me of um, the Runaways. Maybe not. We haven't seen that in a minute, but the Runaways, where um, in the show, because I haven't, I haven't read the comic, the 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 whole church organization was basically sacrificing Runaways' bodies, like kids and kids and adults that ran away from home, just mostly kids that ran away from home. Um, they're sacrificing them because who's gonna, who cares about the Runaways? Uh, no one's reaching out to figure out where these kids are so we can totally sacrifice their bodies and they just go missing all these missing children and i was like oh my god like i i hope and pray that my life is i I remember saying this in high school too but i'm like i hope and pray that my life is worth someone's if i ever went missing or if i just go off the grid no one's like oh who gives a fuck about joy like i would hope people are like where the fuck is joy like what is she doing um so yeah at least at least because i knew you know being a a black woman in america like we go missing all the time thank god i'm not trans at this point but just not not at this point but just saying like i know i know no no i understand what you're saying if i was a tr- if i was a trans black woman no one would care like people would be like oh well like you was a man anyway like it's it's so disrespectful so it's grateful well, I would I would say that the probably the interesting thing even about that is is that like I would say more so that the general public 
like if we're speaking in broad strokes, which of course we are, that it would be like the broad public, but mm. like the people that care are like their voices are like magnified by like oh yeah yeah fold. do you know what i'm saying like like yeah. people that like are like no like you need to know this person you need to know th the play like what happened to this person you know what i mean like so mm -hmm. which is which is sad because it should but yeah. like at least the people that know the stories make sure that they tell everybody that person's story mm. Yeah, and, I, and I, I'm I'm grateful for the people that are in my life that I I know for sure that they would be like, no, she she usually. I mean, that's one of the greatest things to me about having like a routine or a schedule. Like I advertise my schedule. You know when yeah. I'm here, and if I don't show up, it is kind of like, well, what happened to her? Yeah, if baby pushes you off a cliff. I mean, if baby pushes me off a cliff, she gonna learn how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to learn how to drive real quick. That's gonna be your first lesson. I'm gonna be sitting in the in the car. I'm gonna be sitting in, as a spirit, sitting in the car. Like, did you put your single light on? I mean, I'm already dead. So what's the point? <laughs> I mean, bullet. Now your bullets driver how, now so how, how are you gonna figure out how to how to get home to collect your insurance money now she will literally watch she probably watch a youtube video one one or two videos about driving and be like got it <laughs> that'd be so smart Miss Check. Sweet. you know you taught me how to drive right? i did <laughs> did teach her how to drive <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but just in case if you ever had any questions, you could just go to YouTube and be like, "That's where that is." Okay, cool. And then and it would be like nothing ever. And it's like, "What? Hey, baby." Well, not no one calling her baby, but hey, her name. Um, what what happened to Joy? She's on vacation. She's without she's... you. Yes, you know how she is. She's very independent. Okay, that checks out. And then she just no one gives a fuck. No, it's it's just like. She she went to she went to the PlayStation Experience. Yes, she went to PlayStation. Yo, we, all these alibis for me. Wow. Yeah, no, it. <laughs> there was a con. Experience. There was there was a really small uh, indie a lesbian in indie gamer con <laughs> comic convention for girl uh, for for black girl gamers. Uh, my my computer's about to die. My computer's going to die. It's at eleven percent. Oh no no no! You're good. You're good. We have no. We, this thing is not legitimately. Going. No, we legitimately have like ten more minutes. No, I am paranoid. I I would like to just have. Where is it? It's it's right there on the um. Like, you see the blue that the blue um. The blue yeah that just just um, undo that real quick. Yeah, mm. unri un un unravel it nice and slow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, my sweet. Thank you. I didn't know if it was long enough. That's why I just I just that's what she said. Um that's why I was like, I'm gonna move it over here. She it's not long enough. It's not it usually isn't. <laughs> um I've only had <laughs> Do I need it longer? Yes, Daddy. Thank you, my sweet. My wonderful sweet. Oh, she's so cute baby. with her sweet. I, I was gonna say joy, joy and baby. Um, they are the sweetest things ever. Um, it's funny, actually. Shout out to Grimmy. Grimmy thought that we were married already. Grimmy was like, "Aren't y'all married?" I was like, "No." <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see? If I, if we were married, you know, I would have had a compilation video or something. You would have seen it. You would have. There would have been posts. I'd be posting about it somewhere. I'm not gonna get married. And I'm not. The, I'm not the married and secret person. I'm gonna tell you, I is claimed. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. But now I was just. I thought it was so funny because he he said that on the stream yesterday, and I was like, "No, we're not married." But then this is the same person who still thinks I'm 23. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> Do I wish it? No, not really. 23 wasn't really that good of a year for me, but. Eh. Everything else was fine. I, I mean, I graduated college that year, so. Well. Yeah, I I had a rough couple of a uh, couple of years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, early adulthood. I just think it's hard in general. That yes. sort of like um, 
growing pains of like trying to figure everything out um and like yeah. figure out your place in life and um probably also the whole like graduating and thinking like i'm gonna change the world and then like being out in the workforce for like for like maybe like three months and being like this is why everybody else this this is why their souls and their spirits are dead like yeah yeah and like and like seeing all these like gen z kids i'm like no no just wait just wait it, it, it's gonna kill you too it's gonna slowly kill there's only one person who life will not kill their ambitions and it's that scary small child greta oh greta Thornburg. thunberg third she scares me she scares me she, she doesn't scare me that she got autism she's fine she is no, fine she <laughs> legitimately scares like you know what it is it's the passion that she speaks with when she says how dare you i like, love it oh no I love that. no it like it hurts my soul it hurts like i i will watch her for two seconds and i'm like you're right i didn't recycle I i'm yeah, I, I killed your planet. Like, I legitimately, I'm the reason why you can't have kids now. I'm sorry. And I feel like we need more of that. Because if we had more of that, we wouldn't be in the bullshit predicament we're in now. If people actually gave a shit, we wouldn't have to have Greta Thurn, whatever the fuck her name is, screaming at other stupid ass adults talking about some, well, we didn't know global warming was a thing. Don't you believe in the data? Don't you see the numbers? Like, you know this was happening. You literally had had Texas, fucking Texas. I was just talking to my friend Victoria about this. Fucking Texas had snowstorms. These people don't even know what the fuck to do. The senator takes a plane to fucking Cancun, being like, I'm out. We're going to dip. And then they just say, oh, everything's maskless now. Everything's opening back up to full capacity. Texas, if you don't please just just please sink. Sink and go to hell. Like just literally sink and burn because you really don't care. And they're like, who are we following? Florida. They're mm. following the footsteps of Florida. That's who you just just please, please. Please secede from the country. Please go away. Uh, <laughs> that just okay, so first and foremost, you made me think of Petoria. Um from Family Guy when Peter decided that he was going to make his own land and it was called Petoria. Oh, and, okay. Um, and he seceded from the United States and it was like legitimately just like his house. Oh. Um, so that made me think of that. And then secondly, I so the reason why, okay, so the reason why like Greta or Gerda, whatever, her name, Greta, it is Greta, right? Mm, I've seen her talk once and I was like, geez. She's legit. Like, How I can feel the spirit. You. How um, dare you do this to us? My generation. Yeah, how you dare have you? have stolen our thoughts, our feelings. Um, no, see, okay, so the reason why I have such weird feelings about her uh, is because of the fact... <laughs> this is going to sound so dumb. It's literally because of the fact that, like, we aren't given the proper options because like it's not like oh paper or plastic it's like like paper or plastic blah 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 like because okay so you could yell at me for like using paper right because it's going to be thrown out and it cannot be recycled uh mm. depending on like the paper from if, if we're talking about food products right but plastic can be recycled. So you would think, oh, wow, plastic makes sense. Go with the plastic thing. When really, it takes energy in order to break down that plastic. So in some cases, it actually would be more beneficial for the planet to, li to literally cause the paper to decompose and to make new paper because the cost of the cost as far as the... Um, the electricity being used and the resources in order to melt on the plastics to remake plastic is just like crazy so that's why when i like think about it in which case option three would be the best case which is you bring your glass container to the store weigh it out and then you can use the glass container yes i don't think about all that i'm literally like if there's options there's options if there's not there's not and then if there's not available options, then that is up to the city officials, county officials, 
like laws. There's laws for this, for the states and countries and things. Like there should that be. That doesn't matter to Greta. That doesn't matter to Greta. Look, I need some more. I like her passion because we need, we need, what is she, where is she from again? Is she from Sweden? You She's have from, stolen my youth. Where is she, where is she from? I am a child with no future. Her name is and Greta. Was you. Thunberg. Greta yes. Tintin, Le Eleonora, Ermin Thunberg. This is bitch from Sweden. We need, <laughs> we need some more. Well, I'm just calling her Pippi. We need some more Swedish angered white women like we, and we do with pippi longstocking she's the best uh the woman with the the the, the tattoo the dragon tattoo she was swedish yeah um we, we greta them. okay look i think they're all the same person honestly i think greta thorn tattoo and pippi longstocking they are all the same person yeah. um just reincarnated and um, if it takes if it takes this autistic how old is she? I just looked her up. Stop it, it blowing takes... up her spot. I didn't even know she was autistic. Yes. <laughs> and I say that specifically because I'm like, we can't, we should be listening to her. Because you know how she's America done all is... the research. Yeah. America is so, you know how they're so, what's like, ugh, against mental, like, mental disabilities or just being, just being, just being different or more like Swedish meatballs. Yes. If we're if there's so we're so against like mental health and understanding different you know like if she can use this to change the world all power to her this girl she's 18 now she turned 18 so she could she could start changing the world for real for real and I would hope she does because I'd like to live in a nice clean world but all these greedy you know politicians and billionaires and all the foolishness and we got all this garbage in the ocean and burning up all the fossil fuels and all this stuff but yet they send them motherfuckers to space elon musk is sending motherfuckers to space like why well that's only why? so that we can recolonize mars in like another like 300 years yeah and i'm just like y'all y'all got time to worry about mars but not about the planet we're already on like you got all this money to just go to another planet and be fine but not fix the one we're on because we got the resources we got the internet we got the technology we're getting more technology you got us paying 5G, thousands of dollars 5G. 5g thousands of dollars for the new fucking phones like why can't we fix the planet why can't but again that's the same reason we can't get over fucking race we can't get over skin color and melanin and melanin deficient people we can't even get over this part so how we how are we supposed to fix the planet we can't even we're not we're not, we're not we're, we're not, not there we won't no i don't think we will honestly i don't either i mean i i'm glad that we i feel like it really is with us like our generation i'm glad that we can see things but i know we are still kind of like we might to me feel like we might be the last ones being like our parents were right and then eventually we're like no they weren't and not <laughs> staying with their traditions because a lot of us are stepping out I mean, we still live at home most of the times, but <laughs> we are stepping out and being like, no, no, like we don't have to worry about staying with a job for 30 years. We don't have that. We weren't given that. We, we've gone through too many crises, yes. the 9-11 and the, the stock market crashing so many times. Like we, we know some crisis. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think that we can be in the same predicament where we're like, well, we don't know about blah, 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 and this and that. Like we know enough. So when we have kids, I mean, I already know people our age that have children that are already teaching their kids way better. Yeah. And they're more tolerant about LGBTQ and mm -hmm. about why we're different and not to touch other people's hair without permission. You know, like I, yeah. the kids are all right, sort of kind of. The, the Generation Z though, I don't I don't know. I'm not in contact with them enough to understand them like that, but I yeah. I have all the positive energy for them too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm optimistic for for that part, but do I think the world's gonna change like in our generation? No, or, I mean lifetime. No, no, it's not gonna happen. It's it's not. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. In which case, also, I've like had like a rough like I've had like a rough like six months. So I'm just like, whatever. Uh, by the way, Chris says he always brings tote bags to the grocery 
store looking like a bag a bag lady laugh out loud um you should have heard the story about how my brother's wife downstairs in their basement they have um they have a stockpile of stuff and they legitimately gave me reusable bags to I pick was, out stuff from their little store i was so proud of myself last friday i went to rite aid and i remembered the reusable bag and I was like, oh my god! Like I brought it, and then the the woman when I went, I put all my stuff on the thing on the counter. She was like, "Do you need a bag?" And I was like, "I brought my own." And then she's like, "Nice." And I was like, "Yeah!" <laughs> oh my god! Stop it! Just like that, you know, it's not that hard. Like once you once you get into a routine of I need to bring the bag, I need to bring obviously I need to bring my masks. I wear two masks. Been wearing that since last since yeah. last March. Yeah. Two masks. Bring your bag. Bring your wallet, bring your keys, bring hand sanitizer. You're good PKW, to go. PKW. PKW? P. This P. Oh, phone. Oh, P, phone, keys, wallet. There you go. Okay, I was like, what's P? What do you do with the P? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And then, okay, so mine's phone, keys, wallet, iPod. Phone, keys, wallet, iPod, masks. Well, not in this, but masks and uh bags yeah if you can wear a mask you can bring a bag oh yeah completely it's like I'm... come on oh yeah you, i uh, you like what oh i um i was ever since high school i've always just carried tote bags with me like mm. but like legitimately to have like books and stuff like instead of having like a book bag i'd have like a messenger bag and i'd be carrying around a tote bag um Mm. Yes, yes, I do remember that. My blue, uh, my blue squirrel tote bag. I specifically remember you having long hair, a green shirt, brown shorts, and the brown messenger bag. I don't remember the specific shirt you were wearing, but I do remember that that you would you in it or or you would have the tote bag. You'd have like a like a cream colored tote bag. Mm -mm, that one, um, the one that cream? I. Uh, it was like a teal blue. It was like I a, remember that one. It was a, it was a really pretty blue, and it had a um, a squirrel on it. Name. It was like Ferdinand. I don't remember that one. I only remember your messenger bag at oh, school. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I. Oh, I wish I could find it, but I the, the website does not exist. Oh. Um. I mean, I have a lot of I have a lot of tilt bags. I have a lot of tote bags due to conventions and different events I've gone to, but never would I have imagined I would have to go and pull those out because there's not going to be any plastic bags in grocery stores anymore. Like, but it's cool, you know, to, to use it. I'm happy that we, we use it. It takes up less space, but then I'm upset because it's like, shoot, what do we put in for the garbage bags? Like for garbage. Yeah. No, that's I my know. only thing. I ex exactly especially because like that's all like my parents use yeah that's all i know is to put your garbage in in the shopping bags and put them in the in the trash are you hanging on the the doorknob or wherever the hell is in your kitchen and the, the, the your drawer or if you don't have a trash bin then you just put it somewhere and you hang it and then you tie it up and you take it outside so that's my only thing was uh what are we gonna do for about trash bags but uh so far we've been we've been doing well we still do get things where there's bags involved so we still have bags to use so not a big deal but yeah man it's it's been it's been it's been surprisingly um the last six months because you said the last six months for you has been kind of rough yeah the last six months I feel like I've been so productive. I've been more productive at home than having a job mm. and leaving to the point where today um, I'm going to have a pod. I'm going to record another podcast um, interview. And the person I'm recording, she was like, I was going to ask you about, you know, recording on, on your show, but it seemed like you're busy. And I'm like, I seem busy. Like, 
I look like I'm busy, like doing what? And she's just like, you know, you're, you're like doing stuff, you're posting things and you seem like you're busy. And I was like, I'm busy being at home and <laughs> <laughs> sitting my booty home. I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously I'm posting stuff and, you know, I, I talk to people, but not to the point where I'm busy, not busy to not talk to you or not make a, if you want to text, call, whatever, like I'll, I'll talk to you. So I guess on the outside, if it seems like I'm busy, then yay. Yay. <laughs> but I don't feel that way. I don't feel like I'm busy. It's just these, oppor there are opportunities that are coming. And, you know, I, of course with Twitch, um, I, I love, I look forward to always streaming on Twitch. And I finally, I feel like I finally fixed the sound thing. So I'm, I'm even more excited again. And, you know, trying to find other opportunities to be seen and collaborate with people. So doing that at home was the most efficient way for me to do stuff. Not waste eight hours outside, 10, eight, 10 hours outside and then come home and you barely squeeze time to do what you want to do and then also have a relationship and also figure out who you are and what's going on and then have a break time through all of that. Like being home was really good for me. <laughs> Not for my body. I'm deficient in everything like iron, vitamin D, B, all the things, but everything else is it's great. It's great. <laughs> so great. Oh, I'll tell you, um, so I'm not ashamed or anything, but like, I'm going to go back home this Friday and my mom and I have the same blood doctor lady and the blood doctor lady is so pretty. And I, I didn't know that until I said that to her, I was like, yeah, so I'm taking this iron pill by this lady named so-and-so. And she's like, that's my doctor. I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, I saw her today. I was like, oh my God. I saw her on my phone. She's so pretty. And then my mom was like, huh? And I was like, no, 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 not, not like that. Like not sexually. She's, she's really pretty. Like I didn't expect her to be so pretty. Like she's a really nice lady. And I was like, oh, well, I'm going to go see her on Friday. Cause I got to do this iron infusion. And she's like, oh, okay. That's, that's, that's nice. And then she was like, you need an iron infusion? Like you need that? I was like, well, the lady said I needed it. So I'm going to do yeah. it. Cause I, I am anemic up the butt. So we just gonna make sure my iron levels are good. And oh, and Ronnie's like, need to see this lady now. Yo, she's, I don't know. I don't know if she has her picture online, but I swear to you, I was, I didn't know who this lady was, but she, she's like, she looks like she's early to mid thirties. And I'm like, how long have you gone to school? Like, did you just get out? Cause you seem like you were, you put, you put time to look appropriate for this video call and <laughs> you look great, sweetie. You're looking great. So yeah, she was really nice. And and she seemed like she actually listens. Like she listened to, uh, she went through my chart. Oh my. She, <laughs> she went through my chart. Thank so you, my sweet. Did she did she pick out that you are a white woman? No, because she physically saw me. Like we 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 faced she she didn't FaceTime me, but there was something with the doctor the medical office where it's like, do you accept this uh, virtual call from Doctor So and So? And I was like, sure, whatever. And then when she popped up on screen, I was like, oh. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> wow. I was like, oh, let me, I look like crap. You look really gorgeous. Like this is, she's like, oh, thank you. And I'm like, yes, queen. Like you look wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, she, I didn't, I didn't know. And, and she, she was really um, like going over my charts and being like, okay, you, wow. How are you, how are you okay? Like, are you, are you dizzy? Are you, do you want to throw up? Like how your levels, your iron level is so low. And I was like, no, nah, I feel good. I'm bleeding right now. Like then I was on my period that, that day. I was like, oh, I just started my period. Things are good. Losing a lot of blood. Just gave some more blood at LabCorp. You know, things, things are great. Things are good. They're going high. So yeah. So I'll be in the area again on Friday. Tell my mom. So. I was going to say, you just can't stay out of the area. Apparently not. Not anymore. Shoot. It's, I didn't think I was going to, 
I'm going to have to start doing some more uh, doctor visits. I didn't think I was going to be back in the area so much in 2021, but here we are going back. I don't know if it's going to be like a weekly thing, but uh, I got to condense these visits to like a day or something. Yeah. But other than that, I, I feel pretty good. I'm happy. Um, I know we didn't get to talk about like games or anything much, but I'm currently playing Persona Five Strikers. Um, How, that's wait, new. Do you do you like it? Yes, I actually was speaking to Bibi about it because you know me. I'm I'm Final Fantasy, Persona, Z- Xenosaga, Kingdom Hearts type stuff, um, all day. So with Persona Five. When you, you know, you're running around, you're exploring the dungeon, the palace, and you're trying to capture people's heart. Do you know the story of Persona 5 real quick? I don't know if you, do you know Persona 5? No? Okay, well, to not bore you with all that, it's just, you, you run around, and of course, if you get, if you get attacked by a monster, then, you know, the scene changes, like, and then you're there, your characters are there, and you're waiting for instructions, right? You're waiting to be like, attack, magic. Item, run yeah. away. Yeah. So with Kingdom Hearts, you, ever, you played Kingdom Hearts before, yeah. right? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts, you know, when Sora and, Final and Donald, Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And recent Final Fantasies where they're running around and the bosses, like the monsters are just there in the field and then you just fucking slap them with your weapon and, and then you kill them. So Persona 5 Strikers is a mix of that. Where you're running around as your characters... But when the monster sees you, you can just go and hit it. Like you can just run over and and hit it. It's kind of like a, a a hack and slash. Okay. And I'm not used to Persona being a hack and slash game. Yeah. Because it's it's usually not. So it's taking me some time to get used to Persona Five <laughs> being like that, basically yeah. like a Kingdom Hearts. Because yeah. there's so many. What they've done is that they have all these enemies all all in one contained area mm-hmm. wherever you oh sorry wherever you why am I apologizing to my mic anyway to you but um like sorry boo um sorry again so it's like all these enemies are, are heartless if you know of uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts all these heartless are all over the place and you're just like smacking it and the instructions on what to do for the different comp like the buttons they're on the bottom of the screen yeah so it's kind of like do I pay attention to all of the craziness that's happening in front of me or do I just continue to press square and just kill everything? So I'm kind of like, I'm trying to get used to it yeah. right now where it's a mix of Final Fantasy uh, like Persona, but it's also like Kingdom Hearts where you're just whacking and killing everything at once and then the story progresses. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm getting... I'm trying to get more acclimated with the battle system right now, but for for the most part, everything to me is Persona Five. Like it's it's wonderful to step back into this world. Oh, because I haven't. I, I, I finished it in tw- September of 2017 is when I finished Persona Five. So years later, I'm playing this game again and and learning these characters again, and it's 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 a nice nostalgia to come back to, but it's also like they changed this. And I see why, because, you know, it gets monotonous if you're just. That might be from four. Um, The uh, Persona 5 is like, you never see it coming. And it's just, you kind of hear the same thing. You're hitting it and you're waiting and you then the, you do the all out attack. And it's just, it's like, it can get boring. Yeah. So I feel like they did this for a, a reason to just zhuzh it up. Yeah. It's formula- it's formulaic. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm excited, and I I paid. I got the digital deluxe. I'm gonna get my shit. Okay. So, I got the. It came with the art. It came with the soundtracks, and I got a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of extra things. Yep, I know. See, it was from four. See, I I know my song. Dun, 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 dun. If anyone's never played Persona, like y'all should really play Persona 3, 4, and 5. Like, please play it. I'm to the point where when I go home on Friday, I'm actually charging my PSP right now. 
So Are I can you? play. Yeah, I have. I'm charging it so I can play Persona Three Portable, and Persona, and then Persona, like the first Persona, because I haven't beaten those two games yet. Really? Because I, I don't know how I don't know how long that Iron Infusion is, but if I can play Persona or Persona Three Portable while I'm there, I, I'd rather I'd just do it because. Going to the hospital, and you know the hospital I'm talking about over there and near my house, they really had, a, like, good Wi-Fi. Like, they had no good signal over there. So, I'm like, if I'm just going, I might as well just bring my bring my PSP out. Yeah. Just chill. Yeah. Yeah. That, so, that way you don't have to be on. Yeah. I, I can just, like, you know, save my battery life. And if I listen to music, it's going to be from there. And I'm going to bring my charger and all that good stuff. So, I'm like, yay! A reason Persona Five has made me like get want to get back into Personas in Gen. Oh, Blurred Mom is here! Oh my God, Blurred Mom, it's your Blurred Mom. Um, <laughs> Blurred Mom's here. Oh my God, hi, Blurred Mom. Um, yeah, like I, it's just nice to be able to get back into that Persona world again. And <gasps> yes, Persona Five is my first Persona, and I feel like I've missed so much goodness. Well. <laughs> So much of this show or just so much in general with Persona? Because Persona 3 and 4, like, I definitely treasure them. 4 was scary for me. 3 was cool. 4 was scary. 5 was, like, wonderful. Like, a good, like, wow, this is amazing. But, yeah, I suggest if you never played Persona, like, definitely definitely play it. It's really good. Interesting stories. And you feel, and you feel like you're a high schooler, like you're, but in a in a, a Japanese high schooler, not like an American. Oh, this shit sucks. Like you have to really spend your time. So far, I'll say this with Persona Five Strikers. I can't. There's well because you're in the action and kind of immediately. There's no. I don't see any way I'm dating anyone. Because usually in Persona, three maybe not three, but four and five, you can romance people. Mm -hmm. And this one so far, there hasn't been time to romance because people are doing dumb shit and taking people's desires and stuff in the game. So there's no, as far as I know, I can't date anyone yet. Uh, I, you know what? I, as far as that sort of like the framing, like it's so funny. Later daters, I like I dated like one or two people. Like no, actually no, I really dated just one person, and like mm. I didn't even do like anything like fun. I was just like boom, like all the times I'd be like, no, I just want to be all by myself. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, I know for next time I will start dating more people. Yeah. For the I don't know if, if anyone ever wants to see me play later daters again and actually go through it for real for real. Um, I'll do it again and I'll try to see if I can date everybody. Like, oh, I was going to say, um, it like reminds me of like, um, it reminds me of like until, uh, until dawn where it's oh, like, that game I never played yet. Yeah, no, that game was fun. Um, oh, that game is awesome. And that's only 10 hours. Um, never played it yet. Like I want to play each, it though. Each chapter is legitimately an hour. So it's a 10 hour game. But Damn. But I mean, think about it in comparison to like, you know, a lot of other games where it's like 80 hours. You know what I mean? Like just to like. like oh, no. Uh, I mean, like that game's going to take me probably like three months to beat because I talk a hell of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if one chapter is in an hour. It, one chapter is an hour. It's like a movie. Yeah. It takes me uh, like half an hour to get to play the game. Like, oh, Jesus. I was, you know what? It's funny. And watching your, and watching your Twitch, like, and watching you do Twitch, I'm like, you definitely do that. On, that's like part of your, like, ecosystem is, is that, like, you get, like, acclimated. <laughs> First and foremost, there's, like, there's, like, at least, like, a full, like, 30 seconds of you, like, not looking at the camera. Just, like. <laughs> just seeing, checking. Just looking. I'm looking oh, at OBS. and listening to like and like legitimately like click like. 
<laughs> well, I have to check things. No, I know, I know. It's oh. just I just think it's yeah. funny. And then and then like you talk into like the first the first people and then like you you wait until your ecosystem is nice and friendly and like yes. the water is like warm. You get them all warmed up and then like and then after like 45 minutes to 50 minutes then you start your game. <laughs> Because, like, the reason why you go to Joy, like, the reason to watch Joy on Twitch is for Joy on Twitch. Oh it's for Joy. Like, it's, like, like there's a, like, championship, the championship game player. She is not. She no. is personality galore. There go, people are, we're, lo we're logging in to see you. And, and I, I really do appreciate that because I feel so bad because me... I'm like, I'm a gamer at heart, right? I'm a gamer. And you know, and I want to play until dawn. And I was holding out until it was on sale for PS4 or something, but I don't know it if it's free. It used to it was it? like it was like free for a hot minute. Yeah. Maybe I do have it. I just never played it. I, I'll check my library again. Maybe I do have, I just never played it. It's a it, great game. I could play that, but because right now I'm playing, um, I went back to Going Under, uh, which I'll play again on Thursday. Oh, and then I maybe if I if I have until dawn, what if I play that for like my MS stream? No, that seems like it's scary. Anyway, no, I would I will say that would be perfect. No, um, no, <laughs> um, I was gonna say it's. I was gonna say. Until Dawn is, it's it's a little bit of a walking simulator with choices. <laughs> so maybe maybe not for a, like a, a a charity stream, but I do want to play that game. Until like, Dawn, I'll, I'll play it. I don't have an issue. I just, but yeah, I'll definitely check my library. I was gonna I was gonna say because also the ages back when it first came out, like everybody and their mother was playing it like it was yeah. it was it was a popular stream um game to, um, to do yeah it was it was it was it, it had a fad moment okay. speaking of like just stuff like that like i like i don't know about you i'm like i could totally play uh whatchamacallit right now which one <sighs> uh don't do that <sighs> I'm feeling I could, you I being could, comfortable. That's why. I, I could play Life is Strange. Like, I'm like, mm. it's just in my head, I'm like, I could do a replay of Life is Strange. Like, it's been enough time. Yeah, I I last watched um, a wonderful streamer. Uh, she's a black woman from England. She played Life is Strange, and it was really nice to, to see someone else play and go through the the challenging motions of Chloe and uh Rachel and Max and all of that. Like I, I saw her do Life is Strange, Life is Strange 2. I mean, I'm sorry, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um I would definitely want to do a, a replay of that. Yeah. But I think I, I think I need more time. Okay. Yeah. To do it. Um yeah. I um Yeah, I could I uh, around now I'm like I'm like cuz I can just tell because it's so funny. You can tell when, like, you want to do a replay of a game because, like, you just you find yourself just like looking up things about it. Mm -hmm. um, like, I did the same thing with um, when I had Cupid uh, play. Oh my gosh, what's the name of that? The one where you were in the house. What remains of Edith Finch? No, the other one. Gone home. Yeah, <laughs> when I made Cupid play Gone Home, I was like, like I know this one. Yes, I was gonna say I oh, love Gone Home. I love Gone Home, and oh. I love the fact that like if you are doing it quickly, like you can play it in like thirty minutes, you can have like most of the experience. But like if you want to go in and like read, every, you know, go through every single piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Gone Home, I think, was the first gay. Homosexual. I don't want to say homosexual. It sounds so like, ugh, like so like. I think that was like the first gay game I've ever I've played. Or queer. You could say queer. Okay, queer. There we go. Queer is better. Thank you. I was like, homosexual sounds so like long and just like, Meh. and then gay. I like I like gay, but it's also like, Meh. I don't know. What to say. Yeah, 
yeah. Gone Home was like the first queer game I remember playing. Like, and I and I like I didn't expect it to be. I bought it because I knew I heard it was good, yeah. but I didn't hear anything about it being queer until I was playing it, and then I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" Like, and then I was just like. Why did anyone tell me this was? And that was the first time where I'm like, why didn't anyone tell me this was gay? Like, why didn't anyone tell me this was queer? And I'm like, oh, Joy, no one knows. But then Joy, everyone knows. But then that's a good question to end on. Did would you, did you ever think I was queer ever in your life? Like, did you ever um, think in high school or anything like that? I've, what if a, any what if, if if anything, I would have thought you um, more. I would have thought you more like, like non-sexual. Really? Yeah. Like, like I was like, asexual. Yeah, as far as like you being like per like pervy by a rule of thumb, but as far as like doing things, mm. like perviness being a personality trait as opposed to like the way you really are. Yeah, I saw you more as asexual. Wow. Which is funny because that's what I saw myself as. So. Wow. Oh my god! Did no, you hear that, guys? What? <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking to the audience to, to them. Wow! Yeah, no, I'm just saying. And like, well, I don't know. I just I never like. In which case, because you would be like pervy about people, like ooh. But like, but as, make... as, as as but as far as like you like dealing with people, I like. I see you as like I don't know like a sister maybe. So like I don't see you as. Well being like it's that's like if you would have been like oh i'm like i don't see you as like boy or girl you're just joy <laughs> okay okay well if i that get makes that sense. part i get that part but like i just because like i didn't i didn't see you as asexual i didn't see you as i i knew you was i didn't know what your type was that was my yeah. only thing was like i didn't know what like who would ricky actually like as a person yeah but I didn't think you're asexual and I never see, I can never imagine you not having sex with any human in this planet. Yeah. I was just like, well, I don't, I clearly, I just knew it clearly wasn't in our high school. Like, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I just, just knew who. <laughs> yeah. I knew that much. Yeah. I oh, don't like, know. I just like, I didn't like that. Cause think about it. Like, it's not like I was like, I wasn't like running around being like, Ooh, I will. Ugh. Like, it was just like, not there at all. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, I didn't feel like, I I knew that the high school, I mean, we are, we are too uh, unique for that, for that school, but or at that, at that time period, at that time period, at that location, like that, that location was doing nothing for us. However, I was just like, well, I don't know who you would actually like. It's just cool that you're able to be so sure of yourself at that time. Well, to me, you always felt sure of yourself to be like, well, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. And God damn it. If I don't like this, you're going to know. <laughs> and don't piss Ricky off. Like don't piss him off. Like, yeah, it seemed like, oh, yeah, no, I've always been bitchy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. piss him off. Yeah. Just look, look, if he's, if he's getting, if he's catching attitude, if, if he's, if he's happy, he's happy. If he's not, he'll let you know. Yeah. And if he's not happy, it's for good reason. I, like if, if it's, why who did what what did they do? I'm not gonna be like, oh Ricky said something and he was oh, he's this Ricky. No. Who said something to him to be like and I said what I said, I punched her in the face. Like <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and, and that's when he punched her in the face. And she deserved it. And she deserved it because she yes. was stepping on a line or he yeah. said whatever. So I, you know. And then Rick says, last time you saw me, me, last time you saw me, I, you had an idea. When was the last time you saw me? When's the last time I went to Florida? <sighs> and was at that house. Like, I feel like it's probably 2006 or seven. So you were like mildly Maybe. young. You were like pretty young. The last time I know I went to Florida was for my cousin's graduation. And that was in 2015. You you had a tool belt and a golden retriever and no. a U-Haul. I do have a picture where I was like, I was so like I like I wasn't even trying to cover anything. Like I was just out there 
wearing like braids and just being as boyish as anything. But definitely not acting like I'm gonna go find a woman. Like that wasn't on my mind at all. I was just like, this is just it's hot. Okay, see, okay, yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so that was that really was. Okay, see, that was that was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't care. I didn't. I really didn't care. I was just like, that's just, but I wasn't anywhere again. Like I said, I wasn't trying to find any women or anything. I wasn't like, I'm going to date women now. Like that wasn't on my mind, but I was dressing very queer looking Yeah. by standard. Cause I'll even look back on pictures now and I'll be like, Ooh, joy. If I didn't know myself, I would have thought I was damn near a butch. Like yeah. the way I looked in 2015 in, in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But I think I liked it because, you know, back then when I was a kid, that's tomboy joy was like thug for some reason. I don't know. I thought that was cool. <laughs> I was thug. I was out here. I was out here uh, in them streets. Oh, uh, not in the un streets. Unfortunately, Miss Joy, um, I gotta, uh, I gotta go to bed. Yes, yes, you do. And also, yes, Rick, I we I do not know any I do not know about you. If you want to share, we can we can talk about it in 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 um Messenger. We could talk about you. We definitely because you know me, I could talk about we could talk about us all, all day. But yes, you you have to go to Sheep Sheep. Um thank you so I'm much. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, fine. Rick. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, we always got time. I mean, if y'all want to catch us here. Please, it's it's every first and third Tuesday of the month at ten p.m. Because we're odd. Because we're odd. Because we it are used odd. to be eleven, but now I get tired. Well, you have a whole job that's like commanding a lot of your time, so it, it's okay. I'm at home. I love it here. That's um, work. Home homework is still work. Work. I mean, the most that I'm doing now, which wasn't a thing until today, like I'm just going to be doing some podcast episodes now I'm going to be recording so I'm busy but I'm not but again busy. first and third Tuesday of the month of the months uh, at 10 o'clock p.m. nightcap is happening and we we go live on YouTube and yeah thank you all thank you all for being here like I appreciate this so much like it's so nice to be able to speak with my main man Ricky here like love you you're wonderful oh, I love you too yeah. <sighs> Oh, yeah. uh, Where can they find you? Uh, chock full of moxie on most of the things. Um, which most of the things are chock full of moxie. And it's either yes. with an F or not an F. And that's why my my stuff is sort of confusing. But mm. if you want to follow Joy, that is Joy Infinity. And that's on literally all of the things because she has it. Copy written. Yes. Yes. Copy written. Because she's amazing. Joy is amazing. And I love her. And um, I'm having a hard time finding my nightcap song. But that's okay. Because it just gives me more time to say Joy is legitimately like one of the best people ever. Um, Thank you. Uh, and guess what? Oklahoma. Guess what I found? Oh, yes. I mean, that's I. Oh, Yasamina Sai, I'm saying it right, but I really mean Oklahoma. Oklahoma. All right. We love Rodney and Rick and Blurred Mom and um, Dominic and Jabaton Chris, and Chris. Chris, Dominic. And Rodney Ting. Rodney Ting, of course. <laughs> um, and Rodney again. And Rodney again. And, and Joy and. Everyone. And Ricky. Uh, and, and Cupid Rick, Rick again and yeah Cupid we love you <laughs> Woo! oh wait damn the buttons